Hello everybody, welcome back to the Traction YouTube channel and welcome to week two of the Dave Cam Pick and Mix Challenge. Now, if you're not familiar with what the Dave Cam Pick and Mix Challenge is, I will leave a link down below to good old John Munro who will tell you all about it. But essentially, you guys decide what I race every single week here on Traction. Now, you guys voted on the community page on the Traction YouTube channel. And to be honest, you had me a little bit worried for a little while. Now, the options this week were the NASCAR Class C fixed trucks at Circuit of the Americas, the GT Falcon Tire Challenge at Winton Motor Raceway, the Touring Cars at Watkins Glen, the Radical Racing Challenge at Road America, and the Rallycross Class C fixed at Brands Hatch. But you guys have come through once again. You've looked after me, and you have picked the Touring Cars at Watkins Glen, which would have been my choice on that list there was a couple of those that i really really didn't want to do so because we're not going to use our joker this week that means that we can qualify and we have done so and we've qualified p7 it's a really really tough grid it's going to be super super hard to get anywhere in this race so it's 15 minutes around watkins Glen, and we're doing it in the honda civic type r let's get on track the track temp is 39. The air temp is 26 Celsius. Seventh position. Here we go. Okay, on. Dave. Here we go. Go. Oh, that guy got an absolute flyer. What a start. Car left. Clear left. They've definitely got a, a grip of Car the left, Audi left. launch control. Car left. Oof. Clear left. The we'll lost one gained one, I think. See that Audi Starts quick. okay. Let's get stuck in. Left side. Hold your line. He's still there. Still there. Still there. He's still there. Still there. Push me off! Still there. He's still there. Still there. Oh, he's got a good run off there, though. Hold your line. Yeah, really good run on the outside there from David. Clear left. On your clear left. Right side. Hold your line. Right side's clear. Clear left. Come on in your Honda. Car right. Still there. Still there. Clear right. B6. Car right. Clear right. David's flying again, behind. Oh, come on, Dave. behind. Dave has been punted by Troy. The brake bias can go down a little bit more now. Now the tyres are warming up. Clear 
I'm struggling here though. I'm struggling to keep up. P6 isn't good enough. The leader has just done a 158.00. That lap time was 159.00. This is tough. This is tough. Okay, Dave. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Things might happen in front door with Alberto, Marcel, and L. Or Eel, L. Off the grass, Dave. Keep your foot in it. There's a fine line, really fine line, between trying to go a little bit quicker and going off track. But we're still in it, we've still got drafts. Stay close, keep the pressure on. The guy ahead's lap time is a 158.22, fastest lap. Now we need to figure out something here, I think. Quickly. of understeer there in the second part of the carousel. Where well, the second gear might give us a little bit more punch out of that right hander there but Seems to be revving a little bit too much for my liking. Okay, Dave, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Can't get anywhere. You can't get anywhere. The Deltron, so you guys can see. You're matching race pace. That was a 158.28. Everybody's just so evenly matched, I think. The draft isn't that strong here either. Not as strong as I thought it would be. Close this gap a little bit. Can't do anything from here. This guy. Get your elbows out and get round him. Sixth place.
These guys are definitely pushing in front though. They're not hanging around. Maybe second gear does work there. So there's no pressure from behind now. Which is good. Troy's dropped off. Close to this lap. Alberto made okay, a mistake. Dave, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Come on, let's put this hard work to good use. Better exit that time. The trouble is when following close into the bus stop, you can't see a thing. I'll try second gear here again. Stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. I'm waiting, Jim. I'm waiting. I've got a sneaky feeling that this is going to be the finishing position. I can't see much happening here. I think if Alberto could have made a move, he would have done. Like I would have done. Can I get close enough? Ten minutes of fuel remaining. You've just done a 158.58. Sector 2 is 0 0.7. Off the pace. We'll try a last ditch attempt and lower the brake bias a little bit more. That might bite us in the backside, but we need to try something now. Because what we're doing isn't working. Left side. Still there. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. Bang! That's two minutes left. Two minutes. We tried. We tried. Last lap. See if Marcel's going to hit back on Alberto. One more lap 
to go. Your lap times are dropping off. Come on, stay focused. And I'm stuck here. There's nothing uh, I can do. But literally, I can't think of anything that I can do differently. Just get get those few extra tenths. Ah, too wide. I think everybody's struggling with tyres. Everybody's understeering quite a bit. close enough. Well, there we go. P6. Car number 7. Are we going to lose high rating? That's the question. Good fun race, though. Really enjoyed that one. We were kind of stuck. P6. Okay, that's the Everybody end. Everybody was on finish, a well done. similar pace, so we couldn't really get anywhere. Well, let's have a look at the scores on the doors and see if this was a bad week. I've got a feeling it was. Now, the big question is, did we win or lose I-rating? And we won I-rating. We actually gained 24 I-rating in that race for finishing 7th. We lost safety racing, as I expected, but P6 started 7th. Couldn't really go anywhere, really. These guys were battling hard in front. Everybody was of a similar pace. But P6, I rating gain, happy days. So that takes our I rating gained so far this season to 116 after two rounds. I'm really happy, but I know as well as anybody else that things can change in a heartbeat and I could lose all of that in just one bad race. So keep an eye this coming week on the Traction community page on YouTube for the poll. Who knows what we're going to be racing? Your guess is as good as mine. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that you're going to look after me for a third week running, but I've got a sneaky suspicion that the five options that you're going to get aren't going to be that pleasant for me. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good week. Keep it pinned.